This is a blade. And if you're using the blade tool to cut your videos, then honestly, you are doing it completely wrong. And I'm gonna show you why right now. So if you wanna remove this dead space right here, currently what you have to do is move up to the blade tool, select it, then make the first cut. Move over, make the second cut, then highlight it, right click, go to ripple cut, then change back to your selection tool. That's like eight different actions right there. Like, what are we doing? This is 2022. Look, there has to be a better way. And there is. So I'm going to show you how to just condense all of that into literally two actions. So let's do this. All right. Now, the first thing we have to do is we need to map our cut feature. So instead of having to go up to the blade tool like this, literally just never use the blade tool. OK, like literally. No, stop it. Instead, we're going to use this tool called Razor, which is going to allow us to literally just hit one button to make the cut. So to do that, we're going to go to the DaVinci Resolve up here at the top. Then under keyboard customization, find the key that you want to actually put this tool on. So for me, I'm going to use S because that's where it was originally for me. But you can put it literally anywhere and you could delete and edit all these things if you want to. OK, so I'm going to click S and then under all commands, I'm going to type in Razor and under keystroke, hit S, then hit save. So now when we close it out, I'm just going to hit S on my keyboard, which is going to make the cut right there. So I can move around just hitting S and it's going to make a cut on the playhead itself. But that's only half the solution because we still have no way to actually just remove this section without right clicking and clicking ripple cut. Still, you're adding some extra actions that don't need to be there. All right, hold up. If you haven't heard yet, I'm launching an inner circle very soon. Now, this is a community of creators and editors who are committed to learning, growing and succeeding all around. Now, there will be new trainings every two weeks, so you're going to have access to the best tools and information out there, along with an awesome, supportive community of people who want to learn and grow as editors and creatives. If you've ever needed help or have questions on topics like DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, freelancing and more then this is the perfect place for it. If you want to get involved in this upcoming community, then sign up by clicking the link in the description to save your spot. Anyway, let's get back into it. So once again, to the keyboard customization panel. And now what you're going to do is find a couple of keys that are next to each other. And ideally, they're going to be also next to the razor tool. So currently I have Q and W right here. Personally, I just cleared out the stuff that I didn't actually need. So Q and W were very opened. I promise you. I'm going to go to all commands and type in start to playhead. Now under trim, you got ripple right here and start to playhead. And I'm just going to map this right here to Q. Now for W, I'm going to type in end to playhead and add it in on W right there. So now if I want everything from this cut to the playhead to be removed, I'm going to hit Q and it's going to remove everything to the left of the playhead. Now, if you hate wasting time as much as I do, then give this video a like so that more people like you can actually see this video and save their valuable time. Now, if you want to remove anything to the right of the playhead, so for example, hey, I don't want this empty section right here. I can first add the cut by using the razor tool. So I'll hit S, then I'll move back and hit W. Now you're going to use this one a lot less because, you know, most people edit from left to right. But nonetheless, it's still there and it's still super useful. Now, I actually take it one step further and map these shortcuts to my favorite keypad, which is actually a gaming keypad that I just kind of repurposed for editing. And it has literally blown all of the other keypads out of the water. It's called the Razer Tataris. I think I think that's how you say it. Anyway, I will link that in the description because seriously, it's amazing. And if you want me to make a video on it, let me know in the comments below. So if you want more keyboard shortcuts just like this, I have a video where I go over my 10 best keyboard shortcuts right here. Until the next one, peace.